In this video, we're going to take a look at relative versus absolute twist and dihedral and what that means in a multi-section wing. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to jump to a left-hand view and I'm going to turn off everything but the feature lines using none on the surface. And we can see section 0 here at the root and then section 1 and section 2. And this is going to give us a good side view of what's happening with the twist. Now, we've set a 10 degree incidence down at the root, and then for section 1, we've set a 5 degree twist, and for section 2, we've set it to be 0 relative to the absolute frame. So let's come back and tell it we want a relative reference instead. So watch what happens. The root remains at 10 degrees, but this section 1 increased quite a lot, and here's why. When we go to relative, what we're basically saying is for each station, I'm prescribing a shift or a delta in either the twist or dihedral. So in this case, we said that we wanted five additional degrees of twist relative to the root. So now this is at 15 degrees. The tip, because we had it set at zero, has no more or less twist than the root section now. So it also has 15 degrees. If we wanted to set everything back to the way it was, we would have to set this to minus 5, and then again, out here at the tip, we'd have to set minus 5. And now we've recovered that shape. So you have to be careful when you're using relative or absolute. It's are you prescribing the station pitch manually, or do you want it to shift by some amount at each station? And that's up to you. You can set it up however you like. Now a similar thing happens when we use dihedral. If we jump to a front view here, and let's turn on a hidden view so we can see what's going on. We see that down here at section 1 we have 5 degrees, and at section 2 we have 5 degrees. So again with absolute, both of these are at 5 degrees and it makes a nice straight angle. But if we turn on relative, this is still at 5 degrees, and then the dihedral relative to the global shifted up an additional 5 degrees. So when you're doing this, just be careful with how you're shifting everything around and understand that when you're on relative, you're prescribing a change, and when you're on absolute, you're setting the actual value. 